In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can enter timesheets or time entries on an iPhone or iPad and sync those to your QuickBooks Online company file. The app that I'm using is called Z Timesheet and that's available from the App Store. I've also set this up with a sync subscription to QuickBooks Online so that any lists such as customers or items that are created in QuickBooks Online are automatically added to the Z Timesheet app. And as time is entered into the Z Timesheet app, that's sent back to QuickBooks Online. So to create a new time entry, tap on the plus button. You have the option to use different time selectors. So you can choose the first one, which is a duration time selector. Select the number of hours and minutes that you worked. If you took a break, and it will show you the total time elapsed. The second type of selector is the timer. Now this is a timer that you can start and run on your phone and pause when you cease working on a task and resume. Once you're completed, you can save and the total worked time will be calculated. The third way is to pull events from the iPhone calendar. So here's the calendar of, of tasks that are events that I've been working on today. I can select one of those. It automatically puts in the start and end time and calculates the duration for me and puts in some more information into the notes. And the final way is to use just a standard date time picker. So I can choose from different dates the time that I started working and the time that I finished working. So once you've chosen your selector, you can then go through and start to categorize that time. So whether you worked on a particular customer job, what type of work you were doing, and whether it's billable or not billable. So for that, I've got a customer job list. This has automatically come from QuickBooks Online. You can use the voice recorder. Handy builders. You can select the type of work that you were doing. Painting and decorating. whether there was a class involved in that and mark whether it's billable or not. You can see that the billable rate which automatically being pulled from QuickBooks is now put into the rate field there. Finally we can add whether it's taxable or not. Painting the large shed. There we've just recorded some time um, and allocated that to a customer job. So that's very simply how you can enter time on an iPad or iPhone and sync it to QuickBooks Online. Watch our other demonstration which shows the sync process.